Hello audience, my name is Isaac Gutierrez and we at Botic Logs welcome you to Skyla and Drua in Fear of the Elements, Episode 1. Enjoy. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, I want to just kind of look around and examine the house that just burnt down. If there are no people inside, then I'll just try to see if it just caught fire and the foundation burned away or if it got knocked down by, I don't know. Something, something small, something you know, like less than CR three that the two of us could handle alone. You know, just. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Indeed. So as you're looking, uh, you notice that it uh, on the left side of the uh, the wall is the main impact. It appears that something burst through the wall, even not even just through, like a window, partially just breaking down the wall. And it caught fire from the inside and burns out. I will say that while everything else burns and fall, it, it when it like falls in, it burns bright for a bit, and then slowly dies out, turning to ashes in the water. This, this is burning bright and intense, but it just continues to grow brighter and brighter and brighter. Okay, so something tells me. Either this house in particular is different for no apparent reason, or the thing that we are looking for is inside or nearby. I will say, uh, you do hear... Uh, what is your guys' passive perceptions? <laughs> Fucking 11. Let me see. 14 for Skyla? Yeah, 14. <laughs> yeah, passive perception of 14, yeah. Okay. In that case... Ew, did you not take cunning for your perception, bro? Yeah, you're fucking, bro. You're a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody else helped me set up my character here, so... Fire them. Fire In the them. distance, you hear, uh... Oh, 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 help! 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 And, uh... A, a few houses down, you see another fire is caught. As, uh, <gasps> a, a young elf girl's out the window. Help me, please, somebody! Uh, the lower floors! Uh, Kyla. Skyla immediately takes off. Onyx, Drew. get ahead of me and kind of try to Woo. give him a hand while I'm on my way. Druid hobbles and keeps the same speed because she's got fucking long legs. Otherwise, she'd be like wobbling. <laughs> yeah. Clank, clank, We're clank, coming. Clank, hold clank, on. Clank, hold clank, on. Clank, clank. As you run up, you notice the bottom of it is uh, a, a flame burning the very bottom floorboards themselves already turned to ash and falling into the water the upper structure uh, appears to slowly be burning away as the side beams are uh getting destroyed uh, help me please please help help help, um, help, help, yeah, help, help the, the small small favor uh, do me a uh, skyla onyx uh forum stand back uh ma'am uh, really yes. quickly uh, if you could take cover behind any just anything i uh Gonna try something here. Um, uh, I'll try. I'll hide under my bed. Okay, Hindura will uh take a step back, try to get to uh I, I guess the the hottest or like brightest burning point of the fire she can, and will uh inhale and let out her breath weapon, which is cold, hoping that it will do something to staunch or keep the flames at bay until they can get up there to help her. That's an amazing idea. You start freezing up uh, the floorboards about her and start to save the structure of the building uh, up, you know, kind of around her. And even the ice and flakes start kind of going about and easing the flame, keep giving you more time to handle the situation. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, still not used to that one. Yeah, I'm right there, Jara. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Just need a second. Uh,. One of you could go upstairs and try to help her. I'm gonna take a real quick breather. Um, As you look in, Skyla, the floorboards to, uh, of the first floor are completely gone. It would have to be climbing either that's, inside that's, that's or That's why the... I'm trying to assess what's gonna be the best route up there. Gotcha. Um, let's see... Monkey bars. Uh... Manifest monkey bars. <laughs> <laughs> I druid craft oh, monkey bars. <laughs> um, let's see. 
Would my 50 feet of rope help at all? It could. It probably well, how them. would it? All right, tell me how it would, and we'll see. I mean, my thought would be to try to throw it up to them and have some way for them to shimmy down off, out of a window. Yep, that can work. That can work. Uh, if you want, you can oh. give me a uh, attack roll with an improvised weapon to try to like, yeet it up to her. Okay, so maybe like with my... Like attach it to maybe one of my crossbow arrows, my crossbow bolts, and shoot it up. Rope dart. Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe, uh, or maybe all oh, my longbow might be a little bit better controlled than I, the crossbow. Uh, I could fucking if you tie it on to the end of a javelin, I'm sure I could fucking chunk it up there. Um, let's try shooting it. The child, of course. <laughs> Fucking impales the child. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna. Go ahead and give I'm me a gonna do roll. a longbow. Okay. Oh, punch crackers. That's wrong. Damn it. I'm hitting the wrong shit here. Sorry. All good. Fourteen. Yeah, I say the roof doesn't have a, a higher AC than 14, so you impale it into the top of the roof, and the little girl goes, AC Whoa, um, sh so, sh should I climb down? Yes, climb down, dear, climb down, try to shimmy your way down the rope, please. All right, th th thank you don't happen to have anybody else in there with you, do you? Uh, uh, um, n n no, 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 but, but... Uh, but, <laughs> but my parents are gone after the big beast came by. She starts trying to climb down. And, uh, let me give her a roll for the climb track. I, uh, sorry she falls. to bombard she slips. you so many- Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, ah! And she falls. It's about a ten foot drop. What would you guys like to do? Um, this is basically just Onyx, action go to reaction. Yeah, Got you. Gonna, well, give me a roll for Onyx. Go. Uh, I'll say Dex, or if any other Dex thing you can say would be good. Oh no, not Dex <laughs> for the wolf. Fucking cat. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's attacking me at the moment. Hang on here. Um, <laughs> Daily six. astronaut update. Oh. A six? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he, as he goes to oh, jump I out. Rolled the, I rolled the wrong one, I'm sorry. Fuck I, reg I rolled a regular Dex, not a Dex saving. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, much better. 19 plus 7, 26. Yeah, what? Wait, no, I didn't ask for a saving. I just want a dex 19, check. 19. Yeah. Wait, did I say saving throw or check? check? 19. You said dex saving throw. Okay, cool. Then 19. Perfect. He grubs yeah, up 19. and grabs the girl uh, by the dress, and her hands lift up. And for a second, you see, you think that he's going to, like, drop her, and she starts falling from the dress. And, but then he grabs up, and she kind of yelps, and he pulls up a bit of her hair. And with a bit of a sorry look, he throws her kind of like back onto his back, and they both land, kind of tumbling over each other. Hmm. Good save, Onyx. Yes, nice, <gasps> nice. Good oh, doggy. Hey, no, you just fell, and your house is burning and everything. But uh, yeah, I uh, I believe it's just a, a tad bit more important. You said it was a beast that came, but you didn't happen to see this beast, did you? Because uh. so far, everyone we've talked to has uh try on information. Well, the beast didn't come by. The beast is still here. It's, it's still there? She just, she just, like, puts her shield up and turns around and says, Pardon? You don't see it? She, like, turns around and points, like, some the fire. In all the fire. She just starts gesturing. I, I will narrow my eyes and make a perception check. Go to give me a perception check. Ah, nope. Three. Same. Uh, <laughs> nope. Well you're just like, Three. you look around and you just see flames. You're like, I think the kid oh. might be traumatized and that's it. I, I got an at 20. Five. You, you see in the house that was destroyed that you guys passed by before, it is now burning even brighter than before. And you hear an ever so okay. slight little hum coming from it. I, um... Sure, I... There's a hum. Oh, well, I guess my ears are still a little 
waterlogged because I don't uh, I don't hear anything. What? Where is it coming? Is it coming from inside? As she yeah, points out, you start to kind of hear a little bit. I say we go towards the source of it. If you guys are okay with that, try to get Find rid of it as, as soon as possible before it can burn down any more homes, kill any more people. Um, dearie, love, if you could like. But 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 wait wait. I'm the. But don't you want to get the one who made it, uh, 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 capture the bad guy first? Pardon? The 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 the, the man who put it there. Wait, you mean somebody put it there? Yeah, somebody is, else is behind this monster. This is like a, a summoned creature of sorts. Um. Uh, no. Uh, 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 so, uh, I, I don't really. Take, I don't take really. Your time. Well, not really. Take your time, but you uh, know, you, you collect yourself. I couldn't see really much, but uh, because I was in my room. But all I heard was this guy, man yell, uh, and then all of a sudden, there there was this psh, and fire I started going oh, everywhere. Oh. Oh. Could you perhaps point in the direction you heard the yelling, or what? She like points the towards the uh, fishing area. The storage. The fishing area? No, not the, the boat area. Okay, okay well, here's... Okay. We seem to be in a bit of a predicament. Do we try to take out the creature, or do we try to find the man? Um, anyone got any particular... I, I personally think that we should go and get the man, because... I'm hoping that taking care of him. Indeed, because will... if we if we don't if we don't go after him, he could pretend. Even if we get rid of one beast, he can yeah, summon another. He might create more. Yes. Uh, thank you, dear. You've uh, you've been a joy to rescue. And Jura will like completely break her uh, her sort of badass, like heavily armored paladin sort of vibe, and just uh, bend down, give the girl a little rub on the top of the head with her snap. Muzzle, whatever the fuck Dragonborn but, technically but, have. But what, what will I do? My, my parents are dead. Uh, you know what? Um, that's, that like is, we should, we, why don't we... I, I know of a lovely, like a lovely a man boy. who's, who's like lost a few of his children and would probably love to have you. Um... Forearms. Do me a favor. I take the girl yes. back to the man and explain this situation to him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Give me, give me a, a general charisma roll to see if you explain it well enough for Raph to interpret. As a, is it just like general charisma? Yeah, I'm saying he's so Eight dumb that you have to four, roll. Twenty-two. Is... Twenty-two. He goes. All right. Take it back. To man who had mm -hmm. lots of kids. Right, 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 right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, right. Okay. He picks her and, up. And, and take, take her back and... Safely. And and tell him... Oh, dead parents. Yes. And, and that... He needs to take care of her. There we go, good. Yes. Very good. Go ahead. Now go on, hurry along. Uh, 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 he's just running off. She's like, wait, ah! <laughs> I feel really bad for putting that child in his hands. Anywho, come along, Skyler. We, uh... You hear a thump and some crying. Casual. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to make a mental note to check back in on her. I... Make sure he, he delivered her safely. Yes, I, uh, I'm putting all my faith in Bahamut at the moment. And, uh, Drew will start heading off in the direction of the fishing boat area, thingy my barber. Yes, let's, let's go towards the fishing area, see if we can find this rat bastard. Alright, as you go to the uh, general fishing area, there's uh, a few burnt corpses, but one uh, man who kind of surprises you and shocks you as you start walking up. You're like, oh no, more burnt corpses. But suddenly his hand grabs at your ankle, Skylar. <gasps> please! Please help me! The beast! The beast! No, that's not a pleasant sight. I'm trying to figure out how to help him. 
Like, I'm... He's... Uh, if you want, give me a medicine check. Say, is he, like, oh, yeah, beyond... I can do a medicine check. That's... Saving? Or, like, what, what are we looking at? Oh, uh, well, 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 he's sure, burnt. So I would say, like, third-degree burns all over his body. His face uh, is somewhat yeah. resembling a human. 13 I'm... plus 4, 17. Cool, Skylight, you can tell he's kind of beyond saving. Unless he's in intensive medical care. It's best to kill him. Unless you like to uh, try to do something else. But that's like a mercy kill. I don't... That's... Uh, I assume with an 18 I can tell the same thing. Similar thing, except you can tell that he his internals are fine, but this man will live a really painful life. Okay, so, um, I'm going to present you with, uh, <laughs> yes. and, 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 uh, you're not going to like any of them. Okay, so I could heal your wounds on the surface. I uh, can't promise I can do all of them, but I can get the greater majority of them. Uh, and you will more than likely live out the rest of your days in constant agony requiring medical attention for uh, all of your wounds. Won't be the best experience, but you will be alive. Um, second option, I could, uh, leave you here while we, uh, go deal with the threat and, uh, hopefully come back with more medical attention. Uh, chances of you surviving that are slim, but still there. Uh, third option, I could, um... <laughs> tell me, do you have a, do you have a, a god of choice? Uh, uh, choose odds or evens? Uh, evens. There you go. Joaquin. Joaquin! The god is a trade! Um... You know, um... Don't quite know too much about him, but, uh, I... One would assume he's a merciful god, and, uh, your afterlife will not be entirely unpleasant. Uh, I will make it quick. I will make it as painless as possible, but, uh, the choice is yours. I'm gonna just roll a d4, because I don't really feel like choosing if this man is willing to just let you off him or not. Quite the decision I'm having you make here on the spot, but uh, it's uh, no, no offense. Kill me! Quite small in the grand scheme of she raises her morning star, like, without hesitation. And as you slam it down on his head, he goes limp, his gra- The grasp on your hand, uh, like, uh, hand, uh, on your ankle, Skyla, immediately goes limp. Oh, I I did not enjoy that. Uh, c uh, come on, come along, Skylar. We'll. Oh, okay, I. He rests I... His, may his soul rest in in peace. Yes. Uh, oh God, Torm above. I will come back and deal with his. Um, yes. Let's. Yeah. Let's take that sadness and turn it towards. That anger. sad energy and turn it towards anger. Anger. <laughs> Infathomable anger. As we go and uh, continue to look around for the signs of uh, this dickhead who's responsible for destroying an entire fucking fishing village. village. Indeed, let's go. No. So, as you walk in, you see uh, various wooden boats lined up to do -do 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 all the way down. You see just one patch on the very end, the last boat, is fire. And you see a few body... As you see a body, uh, you see a single just body standing above the flames, looking down on it, and you just hear, <laughs> please, please, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Um, hello, sir. Um, oh, go away, go away, please, don't go, go, don't come, don't come close, don't come close. Um, t fun, funny enough, uh, we're oh. actually here helping and saving people. Um, you why, why, uh, how are you? Wait, what, uh, how are you helping? Oh, you know, just mostly cleaning up any collateral damage, saving small children, putting men out of misery. You know, they're, they're just they're typical burning village things. Uh, yeah, so are you hurt or what do injured you, at all? What do you plan to do with the, the, the person who started this? Ha! <laughs> uh, ha! <laughs> well, it, it honestly it depends on whether or not this was intentional or not. I mean, there's going to be some form of recompense either way, but, I mean, it's it's either we do him a stern <sighs> talking to and no, report no, him no. to the authorities, no, or no, 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 no. bash his skull in. Uh, oh, 
Oh, okay, oh, cool. You, you should, sure um... Fancy arrows to his heart. Oh, well, uh, he's not here. I'm just trying to put out this fire. It, it's just a small boat fire. I don't quite In believe that. Yeah. Insight. Insight. Give me insight, check. 14 plus 1, 15. It's, yeah, he's... He's trying to get you guys to leave for a reason. You don't know why. Sir! Sir, let's... Okay, come on. We, we don't have time shit, for this. Shit, shit. Uh, buildings burning, people dying. I just come on down. As you step closer, to us. I'll say this entire time you guys are gonna be like slowly walking. And with this, you've taken like a final like step oh, towards yeah, no, it. No, no, no. And as you get closer, that body drops in front of you, and you see a burnt corpse sitting there, lifeless. And as the flame uh, something starts rising from the uh, the boat, you should leave. 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 And suddenly a burst happens as it goes through something goes through the wall. The wall breaks open and suddenly it reforms behind it as it starts burning and lighting a flame. As something just went fucking yeeting through the wall. Hmm. Going to be interesting, I think. This is, uh, it will be quite the interesting fight. Sir, um, it pains me to have to do this, yet not really, uh, if anything, I, uh, am actually quite happy to be back in the field dealing with people like you. Uh, it's clear you, uh, you aren't in quite the, uh, diplomatic mood, so, uh, I'll tell you what, I will give you one last chance to come to us talk to us, and uh, perhaps walk out of here with your skull still attached to your body. As the flames start kind of growing around everywhere, uh, you hear only the echo of your own voice. She'll uh, wait a moment, nod her head. Well, Skyla, you bear witness to the fact that he was, in fact, offered a uh, chance at Indeed. salvation, and... Bahamut, have mercy on his soul. Come along. Whoa. And uh, she will start charging towards the thing that reformed on the other side of the building. Hoping it is corporeal enough to hit. Cool. So you start running out. Uh, do you, are you wanting to go through the wall? Around the wall? Like, uh, are you going to go outside and go around the building? or? Can I reasonably run through without being burned to death? Yes, you could. Yes, and I will go through. All right, going to give me a Onyx strength. and I are just going to go out and around. All right. Should give you a what? Uh, either give me a strength check or like a, a shield bash, an attack, like an attack roll. I feel better about the strength. So that is a 14 plus 5, 19. All right, as you slam through, you see... Uh, first off, you just lean back, putting your sword over your, sh uh, back into its, uh, sheath. Bo uh, buckle down your shoulders, putting your pauldrons forward. You dash forward into the wall, slamming through the weakened wood. As embers start burning about you, you fly through the air, landing to the marshy, uh, grassland. As you look up, oh, you yuck. see burned trail left behind as it just fucking... Going for miles, it ends up into the forest. Well, Skyla, as you exit the other side, you see that one house is now burning immensely. It has grown to thirty feet tall now. I feel as though there is a uh, no saving this house. Um, you I... now both hear. <laughs> don't like that one bit, uh, like less than As that flame damage. starts to move and weave to the other houses that are undamaged. Right, oh my goodness. Hmm. Fuck. I guess, <laughs> in an attempt to kind of prepare for what's about to happen, whatever's gonna happen, Skyla decides to just pull her I mean, longbow out and ready it for battle. You don't have to go save the village. You guys could go just walk away and yeah, follow the guy. No, that's, that's the issue. Um, Skyla, heads or tails? Heads. 
Oh, these poor people. Uh, into the forest we go. I still feel as though we should... Stop him, specifically. Cut the, uh, I... cut, cut the weed from the base. Indeed. And, uh, Skyla, how are you feeling? Ooh. Onyx looks at you, wags his tail, and points to the village. Well, I agree we need to save these people. Woo. We need to stop this thing. Row, row. Whatever it is, it needs to be stopped. Can't do both at once, though, and that's the issue. The longer we spend not hunting that thing down, the further it gets away. It might, might even go to another village nearby. We don't know. The creature reaches an, uh, another house, starts leaking at the sides. Uh, How about in the distance, for... you see a, a tree completely light on fire. Drew, let's just leave four arms and capability of, you know, trying to save these people. Just tell him his exact orders I... are to pull people from their houses that are burning. And gather and them near the water. After this mountain. Yes. Yeah. That sounds like a... Uh, Put him in rescue efforts and we'll go... Best Take solution this. we have at the moment. Yes. Indeed. Time to go um, find um, us um, or be Raph. Dear, dear Raph. Uh, yes, he's like running up. Uh, 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 hi, hi, how can I help you? I, I, I was looking for you. The girl's with the man, and that creature's doing things. Good, good. Yeah, we see that. We're going to need your expertise here. I'm yes. making sure that if any more of these people in these houses, you find anybody else that needs to be pulled out of the house to rescue them and bring them down to the water. Raft rescue. And he turns around yes. and on all yes. his arms, hoofs off with a great leap and begins breaking down walls to go grab people and pulling them out of the houses. You know, in hindsight, I feel as though we could have made a few more efforts to help people or solve this a bit differently, but no need in dwelling on the past. Come on. All right. Let's, we have let's, a let's, yeah, fire just, creature just, to hunt down. Let's go get this fire creature and just leave the rescuing to Raph. After a quarter mile, you guys and uh, are following burnt wood, burnt grass burnt path everything that's just on fire you find a segment where there's a, a large maybe 10 foot diameter patch of just completely burnt out everything a tree stump blaze completely evaporated uh to ash and maybe only a few roots and parts of it stay behind and with this you see a smoke trail point uh leaving to the distance oh the smoke trail as you look to the smoke trail, you see, a few miles out, another village. Oh no. Juro, we need to get this thing before it hits that village. Yes, that's, uh, that's the plan. As you guys start oh, God. running, I'm gonna say it takes it's, it's close to an hour to get there. Is, um, is yeah. Onyx big enough that I could ride on his back at this point? Because I know he said it's only been a few months, and at that point when I got him, he was still a teeny tiny pup. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's bigger, but he's not. He's he's fighting capable, but definitely not that yeah, big. Yeah, you can't ride him. However, I can. And so I hop on Onyx's back, and we ride into the sunset, leaving Skyla alone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dragonborn breaks his back with the armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, we uh, are gonna try and like full sprint, fucking just make a break for it. I'm not trying to go through another burning village. That one's a nightmare, and we can barely take care of that. All right. After maybe an hour, you walk up, and as you step in, you don't hear chaos. You don't hear anything. It's it's deathly silent. And mm, don't like that. As you turn about, you're like, oh, what the. F and you start entering the village and you see people kind of moving about, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? A market, a general marketplace. And people selling stuff. Hey, how's it going, everybody? What's up? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you should buy this. Hey, you should want some apples? How do we get these people out of here without causing mass panic? That is a magnificent question that I don't 
quite have the answer to. Um, In a distance, you hear um, a guard siren start going off as a, pa a parrot is flying down the street going, ree -ah, ree -ah, ree -ah, ree -ah, as you uh, see some guards running down the street. And they appear to just be running briskly towards the marketplace. Uh, we will... Or I guess Jura will uh, point, look at Skyla, and then without another word, just start following after him. Uh, as also, a... no, emergency alarm parrot. Why didn't I think of that one? <laughs> as the guards start coming up, the parrot lands on their shoulder, and you see that it has lights going about it, blue and red. As a guard taps on the head, it like, just goes quiets up and just starts chirping every now and then, pecking at the guard's shoulder uh, shoulder pauldron. Uh, hello there. And recorded. How can I help you? We're looking yes, for. Um, uh, we uh we happen to be from uh, well not from but uh, we were assisting a uh, nearby village and uh, long story short uh so I don't waste anyone's time uh fire creature uh burned down nearly the <clears> entire <throat> village uh started heading this way and uh we were wondering if you guys had a way of warning people that you know people would not really appreciate if uh, two strangers came running into their town screaming about a fire monster so do something about that with as little roll me as persuasion haha <laughs> that's my jam haha <laughs> it's not my jam oh madam please please look enough with your tall tales of fiery creatures we have a thief on a loose. He just stole she something turns from the bank. And she, she literally fucking points in the direction of the smoke of the village that they had just come from. Uh, he squints his eyes. Uh, it's a very, it's far in distance, kind of over the hill. He's kind of squints. I don't see anything. Few smokes. No. Everybody has a fire every now and then. Oh. No. If I wasn't bound yeah, this by... this is not by any fire. This is not just any if fire. If I was this not is... bound by oh. oath, I would be seething right now okay sir uh, i see as though i cannot convince you and uh it's quite a shame because um while you may not do anything about it i personally would not like to experience a second village uh, within the span of a day burning down so while you're out dealing with your thief or whatever we will be uh informing the townsfolk to uh, gather their belongings and you know get that uh, good luck in your efforts, and, um... Excuse me, are you already trying to cause mass do. panic in my town? Oh, no, 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 I'm the less mass panic, more, uh, stop your fucking town from burning down. And you can tell she's, like, clearly getting agitated now. He, like, kind of, like, saddles on up to you. Little missy, I'm the protector here. And I got a thief oh, on the loose. You're a rather shit job of protecting if you're going to allow your town to burn down. He just kind of stares you off, trying to, like, mean mug you. She's just sitting there, fucking half-smile, half, half smile, just staring him right back. Skyla, what would you like to do? They're just kind of staring at each other. Onyx, she's like... Is, <laughs> is there, like, any, like, small piece of that little girl's dress that we just saved, like, attached to Onyx's armor at all? Yeah, he's like chewing sniffing. On. It's like yeah, caught on his armor. He's like lightly like rawr, 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 like trying to pull on it. Onyx, oh, perfect. And she goes and grabs it off. Rawr. Excuse me. So God, you see this? I was gonna here. chew that. This, this Onyx now. Skyla, I was gonna chew it. The fuck. Onyx, <laughs> Onyx, focus. Okay. Rawr. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. Excuse me, God, but you see this piece of fabric here? Can you not see that it is singed around some of the edges from this little girl that literally just landed on my dog's back about an hour ago, trying to save her from her burning house in the next door village? Honestly, I don't understand why you think we would lie about such a thing. I have no reason to. I'm just simply here trying to give you a bit of a friendly forewarning, but... I mean, if you don't care about the citizens, I mean, that's not me. Regardless, Skyla, go ahead and give anything, me a persuasion with advantage. Persuasion with advantage. Ah. 
course I gotta get back into it here. Roll higher than a 16. I rode like shit. Okay. Hi there, Paul. Roll it. <laughs> Nat 20, 13, plus 4, 24. He looks at you. He goes pale, gravely. That little girl. Attacked by a fire monster. Not on my watch. Enough of your diddle dow, tall bitch. He turns to you, Jura. You're distracting me from the real duty. I must save my people. <laughs> and he uh, starts pointing to guards. Quickly, start escorting people out to separate parts of the village. So I can eat buckets from the well. Everybody, quick, quick. That wasn't very hard to listen now, was Jura, it? Jura just He's turns off. around and, and starts walking off. <laughs> just fucking... As this goes off, uh... Yes, I can just, just get, give me a moment. Uh, uh, okay, I'm, okay, okay. And she, uh, she, like, like reaches, clothing, reaches to her side and, like, unclasps a flask and takes a swig. And it goes from a swig to, like, an uncomfortably long sip. <laughs> like a chug. And you can tell that she, she seriously just says she downs the entire fucking thing, reclasp and says, Okay, come on. Lovely. I swear this village is not very bright. God, I, I pray, I pray the rest of the citizens are not as thick skulled as that man. Well, we, we've warned them of the danger to approach. Now we just have to figure out how to stop the actual creature itself. You hear a little thunder <laughs> boom out. Uh, it sounds like our Then you hear, in a, you hear in the distance wood crack and a man yell, Ah, oh, my potion shop, please help! Oh, great. So that's Onwards. where this thing's going. Onwards. As you go in, you see coming out is an old man, like pushed on the floor, Please leave me alone! And above, on top of him, is this creature that looks appears to be made of uh, energy, sparkling with electricity. Come on! Oh, hey, I, actually, I want to do a voice for this. Hold on, an actual good voice. C -c 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 come on, come on! Just give me a little, 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 little help there, buddy. Come on! I'm a little unstable at that moment. As this like being almost coalesces to look like almost like a humanoid ass figure grappling over him. C -c Come on, b -b buddy. He's like, please, I'm just a potion man. I'm an alchemist, not a wizard. Leave me alone. As like a bolt goes psh, off and goes through the store. Hmm. That's uh. When the bolt goes off, does, does the creature like disappear or is it still? In it's, its place. It's still there. It's as if it's runoff energy. Uh, uh, Jura will, uh, look to Skyla, narrow her eyes, and, uh, begin reaching for her holy symbol. Uh, Skyla grabs her crossbow and, or not her crossbow, her longbow. And... Are we going to roll initiative? <laughs> of course. All right. Duh. Yeah, let's roll initiative, babies. <laughs> oh, yeah. 15 plus 5, 20. Uh, 17 plus fucking nothing, 17. Alright, that was a 20 to 17. Dragon, dragon mm -hmm. born, no death. Okay. Uh, not paying attention to you, you guys will go first. That would be Skyla. Onyx growls. Skyla decides to ready her bow and point it. Try to get a good... It's got... It's got a little bit of range on it. Yeah. It's got a 150 foot range. We should be good. It's only, uh, it's I would gonna... say 60 feet away. Yep, so we're gonna we're gonna shoot and aim for his head. All right, cool. Uh, are you trying to go for the head specifically, or, the or just? Actually, no. Let's go for the the chest, the heart. <laughs> okay, so yeah, go ahead and give me just a normal roll then. Okay, yeah, normal big. attack roll. Alrighty, what's my? Are you wanting to do anything else with this? With like um, like hunter's mark as a bonus action? Anything else that you would like to help yourself with? I forget I have that. <laughs> That's yeah, why I mentioned it. <laughs> Alright, you Does lift your hand, say, gotcha, bitch. You point, a mark ruin goes about him that only you can see. And with my roll, I got a 21 to hit. 
That hits. Fuck you. One d six for damage, right? With the hunter's mark. Yes, the, the hunter's mark is an extra one d six. Okay, well that extra one d six is six on top of my initial one d eight plus. Yeah. And they're plus one ammo, so that makes you add one damage too. Nine, then six. Plus one, so sixteen. Yep. Okay. Yep. So as you, s the arrow slams into his back. Ah, why, 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 why are you hurting me, 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 me? As he starts kind of oh, standing up, looking at you. You've completely and totally just. Ah, I can't even with you. You're gonna. Uh, no, just, no. Sh should we point out your, your, what you're doing? You're currently standing atop an old man. Um, that's that might be priority number one. I'm just trying to fi fi fix myself, self, 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 self. As like you see, like the energy about him starts uh, kind of going back and forth. Hmm. What do you mean, fix yourself? I'm, 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 I'm. Energy, not a lot, like, 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 lined. Sounds like talk for a redemption paladin, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> so, yeah, a bolt so. goes off and it ends up going right between you guys. Please both make, uh. Actually, I'll just say it goes for. Okay, it hits. Okay. Um. Does no an 11 sure. hit you, Jura? Oh, it does not. Alright, a lightning bolt goes uh, by you, and you just kind of take a step to the side as it whew, whizzes by you. Well, uh, that was, that was not fun. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't have much, uh, don't, don't really have a quip for that. He one. starts was... walking towards you with his hand outstretched. Help, 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 me, 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 me. The lightning starts sparking off of him as he gets closer. You can feel the hum of electricity start going over your metal armor. And any parts of your body start that have metal bits, you feel the light magnetic field start going around. Mm, don't like that. Uh, my how turn. How do we help this guy? Like, yeah, how do we help? Yes, this will be you, Drura. Sorry about that. Yeah, Sky. Okay. After that, it'll be Drura. Uh, then Drura will uh, after Skyla says this, uh, present her holy symbol and say, "Well, um, that is uh, quite a magnificent question. One I do not quite have the answer to. However, um." creature sir whatever you may be uh if you could do me a favor and say uh right the fuck there that would be magnificent and she uh you can roll me intimidation for free her. action yay is a nat 20 plus 6 26 he stops and, moving uh, abruptly my first fucking nat 20 goes towards an intimidation chick so that's fun uh, and she will use her channel divinity to uh, abjure enemy. And I need him to make a wisdom saving throw uh, with disadvantage if he is a fiend or undead, which I assume he's not. Um, no, he is not. He fails. Poggers. Uh, so he is frightened and his speed is reduced to zero until he takes damage. Okay. Or, or for one minute. So we've uh, we got a bit of negotiation. Uh, bonus action. I will cast Thunder Smite on myself and uh, point out at him and say, "How can we help you?" Uh, aside from you know, hi, 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 and his like face keeps like morphing to the side. I don't won't no 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 no. I need magician of power were 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 and arcane f knowledge. Well, uh, safe to say. That, and their uh, bolt goes off and it's off his body and slams through a house. Um, is there any way that we could perhaps contain you until such a person is found? We wish to help you. We don't wish to harm you, but we can't allow you to just continue to run around destroying things even if it's not intentional i i i i can't s s stop 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 i have t t t t ten, 10 days 10 days 10 days to live or my energy r r runs out i must be stabilized n n now 
and that is something we are going to attempt to help you with. Um, just have to figure out how. Point me to nearest capital. What? What? what, what, what wizard. 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 You. You know why I cannot do that. It's. You, trust me. As I would love to point you in the direction, but you. The, the wanton destruction you're causing. I. I can't. Would you? Skylet does a fifteen hit you. In armor class. Uh, I know a bolt flies by you, duck underneath you. Onyx is kind of growling towards him. Such as that. Uh, is there any way that perhaps we could make the journey and bring this person to you while you stay in a place that's perhaps not as full of civilians and innocents that you will harm? Go ahead and roll me persuasion. Anything that involves me rolling is immediately bad. With advantage. It's a 19 and a 25. Alright, I'm going to give him a roll. He explodes, everyone takes 5 million d6 campaign over roll of new characters. Please, 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 please ha help me. I'm s s s get scared. He yes, just kind of falls I, to I, his I knees. Don't want to touch him. Um. Guess he's still technically abjured. Um, As you, uh, he falls to his knees. You see the lightning starts mo stops moving about him, and his limbs and body starts freezing up into a a harder outside, a, a stronger form, more rigid, and cold as his energy starts morphing to more ice and almost like ice armor and plating about him as about you the air immediately starts getting colder and very light snowfall starts to happen that makes me smile almost immediately because that is a homey sensation it, it, but, it is for Skyla too because she's a winter lad you know but yeah uh disregarding that she will uh take a step forward and say we will make this journey for you. We will attempt to find whatever archwizard or art artificer or whatever it is that you require under the condition you and I know you're not doing it on purpose. You you have to get away from villages and civilizations and that we can't do this. We can't continue whatever this is, whatever that was back there. I can't help you in good conscience, knowing that the longer that I will take, the more people will be injured and killed, and that's... It's just not how I do things. You, you, you just see, like, a, you. a single t uh, set of, like, a, a few, like, drips of uh, tears that come off this... Almost like, um, water droplets in the cavern, you know, coming from the top of a... Of it dripping down into a stalagmite and dripping onto the floor, it kind of just oh, that's slightly heartbreaking. Sounds about you. It's t ten, t ten, 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 ten days. Please, I'll go wait in a nearby mountain cave. That I have found, but please, ten days, or I I die 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 die. I. She like reaches out to reassuringly put a hand on his shoulder and then immediately realizes that's probably a bad idea. So she like pulls it back and puts it on her knee instead and says, We will be back before the end of 10 days and we will help you. I swear upon my order. Hmm. Indeed, hey. we will get you this help. We'll, we'll find you this. And I immediately behead him. No, fucking check. You left your guard down, shit ass. <laughs> You're saying, <insane>, Skyla. <laughs> okay, well, I guess now we have to find the wizard the map yeah. and find on the nearest capital. He stands up, oh, points uh, a nearby mountain, and then with one single poof. A giant icicle is left behind as he flies over. And uh, both of you roll me 
Dex saving throws. Roll crap. Dexterity saving throw. Oh boy, plus zero. Uh, 17. <laughs> I got a 21. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, Drora, you'll be the only one who takes this. Uh, and then Skyla, you'll take half. Oh boy, is it cold damage? It is. Yay, half. So you'll both take half. Wonderful. So as this icicle goes out, several long icicle spears come out and starts. Uh, it's almost like the ice itself starts coming out. It's freezing in nearby area, like a permafrost sets immediately. And uh, both of you, uh, Skylar, you kind of just tuck to the side as Dora, you push her behind you, and you just put out your arms, and you feel kind of uh, invigorated as the cold hits your body. And um, the original one was going to be 18, but you only take 9 points of damage. Okay, so I only take 9 as well? Yes. Skylar, you get like unintentionally whacked a little as her as her tail like sort of not tenses <laughs> up but like, <laughs> like like damn near wags in excitement <laughs> like she's just happy to feel the cold again and if you like that video and like to see more content please drop a like and subscribe to wolfer 28 or give us a follow and a rating on both spotify and itunes as bardic logs thank you very much and we hope to see you next time.